All right, in this video, I want to show you, uh, this is my newest preset for the Play Store, and I think you need some directions for it um, if you're gonna download it and have a look at it. It's a whole bunch of global variables, and I call it dual movement. Uh, so we have two buttons. We have the one down here with the time and the one right here uh, with the date. And I call these my main rectangles. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, if we press this one down here, we have a dock that comes out. And then if we press this one up here, we have a dock that comes out as well. So, you know, you can go back and forth between them. And if I go back to this one, looking at this dock, we can look at the weather, the music, or the location. So if I tap on weather, uh, we have the weather that comes out, current conditions forecast, you know, typical stuff you see, but the animations here, um, and also some of these other global variables, the way everything works. Uh, I've learned a lot about the list global variable and the anchor. Um, over the past week or two. Um, I call this long rectangle here that animated out, I call it my um, main vertical rectangle. If I tap on music, notice I have a square that comes out. Now if I play, is it going to bring up the cover art? There we go. So that there's your cover art. We can adjust its alpha value. We can adjust all these colors. Notice these colors here blend in with the background. And you can add your own background inside of the globals, and it'll adjust these colors. And then if you don't like the colors, you can tweak the colors. There's a lot of customizing here. Um, this right here, uh, okay, this is my main rectangle. These, this is the secondary main rectangle. This is the secondary vertical rectangle. These two guys down here, we can adjust those just for looks. Um, they don't have any really touch value or anything to it. And then location, as you can see, we have something else animating out. And on this, you can also kind of zoom in. Um, it might take a second for it to initially load these. Um, it loaded those pretty quick. But, you know, like we're zoomed way out over where I am. We're zooming in a little bit more. Now, this is just me uh, using my pen tablet. It thinks I'm holding down on it. But um, if I can, yeah, see, this, this is just the pen acting crazy. I'm going to use my finger to touch on this. It's just my pen tablet. So I'm t zooming in and zooming in a little bit more. So we have that, and we can close that dock by touching that button. I just touched it with my finger. If I come up here and touch this one, now we have a calendar. Nothing too fancy, just showing uh, some upcoming events. RSS, you can add your own to this. I have uh, four up here. We can scroll through these. We have tech. This is going to drive me crazy with the home button. Uh, tech, news, oh my goodness, this is driving me nuts. Sports, science, and then a inside of each one you can kind of cycle through your feeds. All right, you can add your own in there. Granted, you know how to work with RSS. So calendar, RSS, and then status. So we have a uh, something that shows your self signal, Wi-Fi. It'll show your name of your Wi-Fi, whether Bluetooth's on or off, these dynamically change. If Wi-Fi is off, this will dynamically change. If you have no cell service, this will dynamically change. And then you have your battery, RAM usage, and CPU usage. With all that said, that's everything that's in there. But really what I like about this thing, and something else too, you know, if you open up, if I open up this dock down here, if I pressed on that one, as you see weather come up or whatever, you can add whatever you want. If I go up here and touch this one, um, it'll close down. So everything works in unison. If you have something opened up over here and you decide to open up something over here, you know, then you want to come back over here to this one, tap on that one, it's going to close that out. So everything works real nice. And that's all based off the list global variable. I'm becoming a big fan of the list global variable. But let's go ahead and have a look in KOWP and see all these things. Let me explain all these global variables to you. So font, you can change your font. Let me scroll to the top of the list. Alright, so you can change your font. Background, when you pick your own image, it's going to change these colors, okay? That's why I have all these global variables down here, so you can change the colors. It's going to extract colors. It's going to extract either like a vibrant, dark, vibrant, um, muted, light, muted, or dark, muted. And you can adjust them all to make this uh, change and look the way you want it to look. Not only that, so once you pick your image, MVR. So MVR is the main vertical rectangle anchor position. If you remember me mentioning the weather thing, I called it the main vertical rectangle. That main vertical rectangle animates right there, if you remember me mentioning that at the beginning of the video. So it's in the top left. 
and it's always going to be linked with this time. So if I change this to top right, watch what happens. Notice we have a shift, and now this main vertical rectangle will appear over here. This is the anchor position of my main vertical rectangle. I can even change this to the bottom left. Notice where the time went to. So now the main vertical rectangle is here, and then bottom right, notice you have another switch. Bottom right, the main vertical rectangle will be down here. And notice everything else is changing. Not only that, and this was the tricky part, was getting all the pieces to animate and still move together and scale out correctly because when you start changing anchor positions, animation positions will change and all that stuff, but everything worked out. Uh, let's talk about some pieces. Now, I'm going to skip down. Okay, we got a whole bunch to look at, but like go. Go. If we scroll down a little bit and we look for the global variable called go. This is where this is what's controlling the weather, RSS, and all that other stuff. So if I tap on home, um, home is like default. If I go to weather, we're going to see the main vertical rectangle. That's what I call this rectangle here. And then this is called the secondary main long rectangle or secondary, ma secondary main rectangle long. So we're talking about main vertical rectangle. We can adjust its alpha, and then I'm also talking about the secondary main rectangle long. Notice that says that right there. So we can adjust those two pieces. Now let me show you what happens. So if we go scroll back up, you got to scroll and hunt for them. That's the only thing about all these global variables. So main vertical rectangle extract. Notice what it says. Main vertical rectangle extract. You can extract that color. So watch this color right here change. Let me change it to a muted. You see it change? Suppose you don't like that. You can go in here and change to any of these pieces to change the color. Let me go with dark muted. See how it changed it? I don't like the dark muted. Let me go back to the dark vibrant. Or what, what did I have it on? Uh, was it light vibrant? Okay, well that one's fine. Now what you can also do to every single one of these things that you extract the color, you can adjust the alpha value. See how it's going transparent and now it's solid. 100% you can't see through it. Now you can see all the way through it. So you can adjust the alpha value. And that's going to apply to every single piece. This piece, this piece, this piece, that little piece up there, that little piece right there. And you may say, oh my goodness, i got to change all these. Well, they are also going to change down here in this one as well. So it, you're not adjusting. Um, when you adjust this one, I'm also adjusting the one that will fly out over here as well. Um, secondary vertical rectangle this is the secondary vertical rectangle this little tiny one up here you can even adjust it let me go to a vibrant did you see it change up there and you can also adjust its alpha value as you can see um, secondary main rectangle that's this little guy right here so if I go and do like a vibrant I don't know that didn't really change it let me do uh, light muted. There you go. Did you see it change there? And we can adjust its alpha value. And notice also, I didn't, like I said, it's adjusting this one, but it's changing this one down here too. Everything's linked together. So as you adjust this whole piece over here, it's adjusting everything that you don't see down here as well. Now, the secondary main rectangle long, that's this one that slides out, and it will also be this one whenever it does slide out, depending on what you're viewing. So, suppose we put it on vibrant, um, how about light vibrant, I'm trying to get something, there we go, there's a light vibrant and you can adjust the alpha value of that. Check it out, completely transparent and now it's completely uh, non-transparent, but you can adjust it anywhere in between there. Alright, so I hope this is making sense, you know, there you go, there's like a blue, completely non-transparent, 100% transparent. Um, a few more of these things. Okay, MR, main rectangle. I call this piece here my re main rectangle, and then that's also applying to this one down here. So if I go to main rectangle, let me put it on light vibrant. Um, how about dark vibrant? There we go. See, now dark. This is an example of where you need to go in and maybe adjust. See how you can't see the 20 when it's 320, but you have to adjust the transparency. So I'm putting all these options in here, so no matter what you add, no matter what background you add, it's going to change some things, but you can pull all these different colors out to make these colors still match your background, and you can adjust the alpha value of each one so you can see what you want to see. Not only that, um, anything that comes out in a vertical bar, I call it VTEX. You can extract its color. 
Um, so dark muted on these temperatures and days. If I do like a vibrant, um, the color did change. I, it looks like it is. Light muted, is it changing? Yeah, okay, now you can't even see it. Um, same thing for horizontal. The horizontal text, anything that comes out on a horizontal bar, I call it H text. You can read all this stuff over here. I just want to make sure you understand what you're really getting into when you uh, get this preset. I just changed it to vibrant. Notice that horizontal text did change. Dark vibrant, you know, you can see that much better. Now, the music art I showed you earlier, you can adjust its alpha value, making it uh, non-transparent to fully transparent. So keeping it somewhere in the middle, maybe a little bit higher. That way you can clearly see it. The hour extract and the minute extract. If you go over here and you, if you've been reading through this, the minute extract will change the color for the minute and it also changes it for the day of the month. If you notice, I can't even really see the minute down here because my main rectangle. Notice you got black back here anyway. Let me go back to my main rectangle extract. Let me show you some things that you may have to do. Now this may be, you know, pushing a couple of you away from even getting this thing, but uh, this also gives you an opportunity to, there we go. Now, you know, I've changed the main rectangle. Now I can change the opacity of it. I'm going to make it all the way 100% uh, non-transparent. But if I go back to hour and minute extract, I want you to, if you were to get this, I want you to explore all these different global variables and go in and look at how I coded everything because it's a lot going on. I, I admit that. But I just, I mean, KOWP is that powerful. So our, uh, our extract, let's see, let's do like a dark, vibrant, see how the hour change. And it also changes the day of the week and the month. So notice our extract, extract color for the hour and the day of the week and the month. Whereas the minute extract will change the minute, the 22, and it will also change the 19th, that 19 down there. So minute extract, let's do a demuted, did it change it? It's kind of hard to see that one. Let's see, light muted. There we go. See how it turned more of a white color. And it doesn't look really good right now because the screen's so small and I'm going through all this stuff. Okay, the docs. The docs that pop out on the side, you can adjust their alpha values. You can pull their colors out. Main rectangle height, main rectangle width, secondary main rectangle, secondary vertical rectangle. Watch what all this stuff does. So the main rectangle height, notice it's changing the height here and height here main rectangle that's what I've been calling those we can adjust the width of them and as you do this everything else is going to change that is the big thing here everything is changing in unison so secondary main rectangle remember how I called this my secondary main rectangle notice I've slid it out some you can slide it all the way back here too and you can go in here and even adjust these things I got it so it never goes away but you can actually go in here and adjust that number global variable down to zero and watch this so I've just changed that now whenever you change a global variable it shoots it down to the bottom of your global variable so I need to go down to the bottom let me scroll my finger watch this now see how okay I'm sliding it out and now I'm sliding it boom now it's completely away so we don't even have any I, it looks like a little pad extra padding or whatever but I'm taking it all away when I slide it back like that Hope that makes sense. So you can do that. Uh, what's some other things I haven't talked about? You can do the same thing with the other piece as well. Where is that one? Okay, all these scales you can scale like, okay, what's one of them that's showing, for example? Scale weather. All right. Scale weather will scale this. Notice the 46 degrees up there is changing. Scale forecast. You can scale the forecast. So no matter what you do, you should be able to fit this thing inside of the rectangles that you have. Doc, you don't need to mess with. Feed, you don't have to mess with. If you did change the doc to one or two, it'll pop the it'll pop a doc out. For example, if I change this to one, it's going to pop out one of those docs. As you can see, there's the doc over there. So you need to fix the path. Or, you know, if you do that, notice that doc sliding out over the forecast. That's why maybe it's a good idea to to keep a little bit of that rectangle. But then notice, hey, check it out. See how the dock is scaling based on however far this thing bumps out? Everything's working together here. You can even extract colors for the dock text. Um, corners, you can add corners or no corners if you want it nice and right angles on everything or if you just slide this guy like that, you do see everything is changing. Every single corner is changing. 
So everything's linked together. And now, with that said, um, let me show you one that I've customized uh, based on a wallpaper you've seen uh, in the last few videos with like the road. So as with you can see here, it's the same that. exact preset. Um, I've gone in and I've adjusted those global variables. Um, as you can see here, these are not transparent at all, whereas my little main rectangles, these that I call my main rectangles, those are transparent. Um, if I come up here and tap on February 19th, uh, there's that dock. See how I dock? You can, scale, or you can scale this dock, you can change the colors and all that stuff. And uh, coming over here, down here to this guy, everything works in unison, so as you can see. And I like the way these things animate too. Now, something you may notice if you're watching this on YouTube, maybe it's not the smoothest looking animation. I assure you it's not like that um, on the phone. It's just, I guess, the rendering between me connecting my phone to my computer and having you see this. So uh, a lot of coding going on here. Um, I like it. hope you like it. And if you have any questions, let me know. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.